lovelies, welcome back to another video. I have decided to film outside today because better lighting equals better video quality. Today I'm going to be talking about anxiety and how it affects me, my definition of it and my personal experiences with anxiety. Anxiety to me is a feeling or a worry or a sense of nervousness that you can't control. Often anxiety is attached to a rational or an irrational thought about something bad happening or something bad that has already happened. I am quite a vibrant and bubbly person so when I tell one of my friends I have anxiety they kind of look at me as if to say really you wouldn't strike me as an anxious person jelly however yes I do have anxiety and some days it's better or worse than others may I say one of the anxieties I have is constant paranoid thoughts of my friends my family my partner I always worry that things are happening when they're not really happening so for example oh my friends think I'm too clingy so maybe I should stay away from them or oh, my friends think I'm avoiding them so maybe I should go near them I feel like when people say they're anxious most of the time they're scared or fearful but anxiety is the mother of fear so when a person has anxiety it is often beyond their control so no amount of meditation or calmness or relaxation techniques can help a person with anxiety for me anxiety isn't the controlling part of my life for me anxiety is just one of those things that gets in the way of my daily living so I feel like when I have anxiety I can't do things that I normally want to do and on days that it's worse than others I feel like staying in the house and not doing anything however one of my good personality traits that I've realized um, I say it's good um, one of my good personality traits is that I'm extremely stubborn yeah thanks mom <laughs> and the reason why that's a good thing is because when anxiety is giving me thoughts of you can't do this you can't do that your friends family partner thinks this friends family partner thinks that I feel like this turning around and saying actually no hold on a second that's not right that's not true I am NOT going to let my mental health determine me as a person I'm not gonna say I can't do this because of this I can't do this because of this my mental health is not an excuse my mental health is an explanation so even though things are more difficult for me on a daily basis I don't let that hold me back I don't let that be an excuse for why I can't do certain things I just have to work around them and find something that works for me for example I went on a walk the other day by myself with my headphones in my music I was completely calm and usually I wouldn't think of doing something like that but I challenged myself I thought to myself jelly right you can't sit in the house if you're anxious like you have to face your fears my favorite quote life quote is do one thing that scares you every single day Eleanor Roosevelt and I thought to myself I'm gonna go on this walk I'm going to show myself that I can do this and the walk was quite beautiful because it's November and all the autumn leaves had fallen to the ground and I found it quite calming for me and I am extremely grateful that I am as stubborn as I am because when I am getting all these thoughts filtered into my head I'm re-filtering them I'm returning them around and saying actually no this thought is wrong actually no this thought is right and I refuse to let my mental health become a part of me um, when I go to new societies and new events, hey, I'm social. I'm not shaking everybody's hand and going, hello, anxious jelly, hello, anxious jelly, anxious jelly. <laughs> it's just 
one trait of me and one trait of my personality and it doesn't make me a bad person if any adjective could use be used to describe me as a person i'd be walking around the entire group going hello hyper jelly hello hyper jelly hello hyper jelly <laughs> I would not be using anxiousness to determine my personality. A few of the anxieties I have, apart from the worrying thoughts, the constant fear, the phobias of people abandoning me or leaving me, is social media anxiety. And I have been extremely stubborn with myself about this particular anxiety. I feel that you can't allow others to love you until you love yourself and I like myself I think I'm pretty great I think I'm doing my best trying my best to be to achieve my dreams and to do the best that I can possibly do so when that thought filters into my brain of you're not good enough um hold up stop right there actually yes I am actually yes I'm going to achieve my dreams actually yes I'm going to make it I'll post a picture on social media boom as soon as that picture's up my thoughts are going what if this doesn't get any likes what if this doesn't get any comments and I'm kind of thinking to myself why am I thinking like that why does social media constantly play a part in my life where I'm questioning my own self-worth based on likes or comments or social media interaction and one part of me hates that I do this and then another part of me refuses to do it full stop sometimes I'm thinking I don't care one like I personally feel that I look nice in that picture I, I feel that my social media anxiety is slowly coming to an end because I have realised that I should not compare myself to others because it is not healthy. I feel that when my anxiety is in full force, I kind of let it prevent me from doing stuff in life and I don't like that it prevents me from doing certain things and it's okay not to have your shit together. I'd often have days where I feel like putting rose petals on the pile of crap but then I think to myself, it's okay if I have that pile of crap, it's okay if I'm having an off day, it's okay if I'm not feeling like myself and I'm slowly getting better at not getting as anxious as I used to get and I feel like my mental health has gone on such a long journey of up, down, up, in the middle, around town, under, over. I feel like I'm finally progressing in which my mental health isn't controlling me, I'm controlling my mental health because who is to say that because I have an anxious thought in my head I should act on this anxious thought. I, it was Halloween the other day, I'm going to face my fears. I want to become a mental health nurse, I'm going to refuse to let my anxious thoughts say to me, you're going to fail, you're not going to do well. For a start, it's okay to fail. Failure does not make you weak. Failure does not mean that you are a bad person and that you do not deserve good things in life. Everybody fails. JK Rowling sent in her Harry Potter extract seven or eight times it was rejected until she finally got the yes that she was searching for. JK Rowling likely had anxiety as well but because she refused to give up she refused to say no I'm not gonna let my mental health control me she got there in the end the other day at college we were learning about abnormalities and normalities and I discovered that maladaptiveness means when you are faced with a bad thing or a bad consequence in your life and you choose to let that bad thing or that bad consequence affect you. This is not to say that people with anxiety can suddenly snap out of it because it really, really, really does not work that way. People with anxiety need you there for support, but trust me, we are independent. 
It's not to say that someone with anxiety needs you to constantly look after them 24 hours a day or 7 days a week. I've got anxiety but honey I'm an independent woman. I'm going to achieve my dreams on my own. I just need people to understand that I'm not lazy, I'm not making it up, I am doing the very best that I can and I'm extremely lucky myself that I have a wonderful circle of supportive people and I am much 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 better in terms of anxiety than where I was last year. Like I said, Jelly used to be shy. If that's hard for you to believe then well I'm doing well aren't I? And I, I have set myself some small goals and some small tasks to achieve and I'm not saying I'm going to buy a pet snake tomorrow, I'm scared of snakes, but maybe I can buy a plushy snake and have it in my room and gradually, gradually get to the end goal where I am facing my fear and yes, I do own a pet snake. I feel that anxiety is not going to control me, I feel that anxiety is not going to get the best of me. Hey, if I look bad in a photo, that's okay, that's me. Hey, if I'm not feeling well one day, that's okay, that's just me. Um, people with anxiety are not feeble. We are not weak. We are not constantly craving attention, if anything we're resenting it. We just need people to understand and we need people to be supportive. Would you have guessed that I have anxiety? Perhaps yes, perhaps no. However, people with anxiety come in all shapes and sizes and ages and races and backgrounds and countries. We are not all conformed into one box of these people have anxiety, these people are weak. We're not weak. We just have specific things that make it a struggle for us on a daily basis. Thank goodness that I am stubborn because if I wasn't stubborn then I wouldn't be able to fight the anxious thoughts within my head. I feel extremely proud of myself. Um, I am probably the most productive, anxious person one of the most productive anxious people out there because fuck it I just want to get out there I just want to do something with my life I'm going to help people I'm going to become a mental health nurse I'm going to get there at the end of the goal look back and say by anxiety you didn't defeat me you didn't get the best of me I am in charge of my own mind no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. That includes the voices inside of your head, that includes your enemies, that includes the people who are constantly putting you down. You show them, you prove them wrong. I am not anxious jelly, I am jelly. And my mental health will not control me. I hope you like this video, Beans. I'm going to be including more mental health videos into my YouTube. And I'm really, really excited about the future and what is to come. I want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers who were extremely positive about my mental health video a few weeks ago. It meant so much to me that you were supportive and you weren't rolling your eyes and going, oh my God, this is a fashion channel. Jelly's just added a random mental health video to the mix. That makes me feel much, much better. I hope you like this video, um, I'm interested to know what your experiences with anxiety are, what treatment you got, what helped you, what didn't help you and we can spread the positive word of mental health awareness around. Thank you so much for watching, if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and become part of the Bean family. I will see you in the next video, bye!